हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज कीर्ति निगम फ्रॉम माउंट लिट्रा जी स्कूल झांसी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू कंप्यूटर लेसन नंबर वन रिविजन ऑफ लेवल फोर दैट मीन्स द टॉपिक्स विच यू हैव कवर्ड इन क्लास फोर सो द टॉपिक्स विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हेयर आर स्क्रैच देन लॉजिकल थिंकिंग हेल्दी प्रैक्टिस organizing files into the folders so let's start the first topic that is scratch so scratch it's an online software which helps in designing the animations making interactive stories with the help of the animations in scratch third creating the games also and all these activities can be done by using different different sprites and the backdrop now the word here comes sprite and the backdrop so sprite means various objects such as any fruits animals or costume transportation or any people and etc many more so you can use any kind of the object as the sprite but in scratch there is a default sprite which is a cat by which we can create our animations next is backdrop so backdrop means different different backgrounds which can be used in making the animation so that background here uh, is called as backdrop in a scratch a signal is also sent to the different different sprites through a message that message is actually a instructions which are going to be broadcasted by us now the next topic is logical thinking logical thinking is used to solve any kind of the problems such as the things which we have to keep in mind are first we have to identify the goals information and conditions for solving the given problem the second step we have to choose the appropriate option for the given conditions of that particular task then only we can solve the problem step by step using our logical reasoning now the next is here it is an example of logical thinking so there is a problem as well as we have to find the solution so now see the problem here reena wants to know that which number comes next in the following sequence and the sequence is 350 then 500 after that 650 and the next you have to find out so here we are going to help her by identifying the goal information and condition for this our problem so here the first thing which is given here is a series of three numbers is given so what it is is it a goal is it a information or is it a condition so it's an information second first number is 350 second number is 500 and third number is 650 so what it is it's also an information next to find the next number in the sequence this is the goal right this is absolutely the goal of the given problem now next the difference of two numbers that were the first two numbers is 150 and also the difference of second and third number is also 150 so what it is it's a condition which we have to keep in mind while solving this problem so first of all as you came to know here about the logical thinking that you must have to identify the goal information conditions then only you can solve it by using your logical reasoning now the next topic is healthy practices like as all of us are going to use the mobile devices as well as the computer laptops so we should have to keep some things in our mind for keep us healthy also 
so uh, for keeping ourselves mentally and physically fit it is necessary to follow certain healthy practices which here we are going to discuss basically the first asana or the yoga asana is pranayam as you all are familiar about this word pranayam is an exercise which involves breathing and helps us to develop the mental concentration as well as it calm our mind improve our attention and refreshes us so this is what we should do the next is ek pad pranayama asan this is also referred as one legged prayer pose its benefit is that it is going to strengthen our muscles of the ankle and the foot and also it develops nervous balance now the next is natrajasan this is also called as dancing pose or the dance pose it also helps us to balance our body and develop the mental concentration so these are some healthy practices which we should have to follow as here are some pictures by seeing that you should have to identify that which type of asan it is so the first asan is as you all are familiar that is pranayam the second asan is one legged prayer pose so that's a ek pad pranayam asan the next and the last is dancing pose which is known as nataraj asan now come to the next topic that is organizing files into the folders how you are going to organize your files we must always save our data with an appropriate file name so that we can use them in future and also a file can be saved in the multiple folders in more than one folders we can save our file but as you know we should save the file name on the basis of what the data or a file contain or match with the description which the content of that file is having we should know that then only the appropriate file name should be assigned to that file and by using that file name or by seeing that file name you can easily identify your file now the for an example aniket is making a project on insects what will be the appropriate name for the folder containing the images of insect and the options are pictures ya b insects or the c insects only so the right answer is picture insects so that you can identify this by seeing this one ki that is a fold or that is a file which is having the pictures of insects now the next let's have a quick review of this chapter so the first point is scratch scratch is a software used for making animations the second about logical thinking we it is going to involve the three steps first of all you have to identify the information goal and the conditions which you have to follow then afterwards as you came to know about your goal as well as the information which is given here in that problem then only you are able to solve that with your logical reasoning now the next is for being healthy for keeping ourselves mentally and physically fit we must follow the healthy practices the next we must choose appropriate name of the files and the folders so that we are going to identify that file quickly and it is going to organize in the proper way so now this uh, recall of the class 4 topics is completed here i hope you all enjoyed the class thank you so much